shootout continues. We've got the two teams, the free BSD team over here. Do you say Demon or Damon? Damon. Damon. And Beastie says Damon. <laughs> Don, you say Demon or Damon? Damon. Everybody says Damon. I think I say Demon. What's wrong with Demon? Take him out. It's oh, a, Beastie likes it. It's a friendly spirit. It's a All right, it's, it's a demon. demon. So we thought at this point we would say, well, how's that install going? But you guys finished the install a long time ago. The next step is going to be to show us something that's unique and cool to the operating system. Just briefly, don't show us yet, but what are you going to, what are you going to talk about? Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get you know a web browser going, maybe an instant messenger, and uh, possibly play a movie for you. All at once. You betcha. This is the KDE desktop? Is this that is actually Fluxbox. This, this is Fluxbox. Yeah. We put KDE on the install box. We finished that and we switched over to the pre-configured one And here. Fluxbox is a window manager? Or? It's a window manager that runs on both Linux or FreeBSD or any you know, Unix flavored and, OS. I like how it looks. It it's, looks really cool. It, yeah. It's, and it's, 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 it's a minimalist, pretty. right? Yeah. It's kind of the, it looks a little like Enlightenment. Kind of simple, but we're, very fast. We're also going to take a look to show you guys at the ports collection. Of course, it's something unique to FreeBSD. That's very much. cool. All right. You guys, have you used Linux? So yes, yeah, but you, you're yeah, more comfortable with BSD at this point. Yes. Yeah. All right, Don. Of course, you're a Linux guy. You write, uh, you editor of the Linux Journal, which, by the way, let's hold up because this is a great magazine. Anybody who's into open source operating systems and software should be a subscriber. What are you going to show? I see you're doing it right now. Oh, there's all kinds. Yada of stuff yada on yada. Here. I see that. I just want to sing. Yada yada. I don't know why. <laughs> I've got all kinds of stuff on. You got here. the browser going. The browser. We got the Office Suite going. Now I gotta on. say one got thing, and I know maybe this is just because of how we've got this set up, but this was always an issue for me with, with both Linux and FreeBSD, was the fonts don't look as good in, in the open source operating systems as they do in Mac and Windows. Is that something I'm stuck with, or is there a way to make those fonts aliased and look better? I think that if you put in a recent version of either the um, GNOME or KDE desktop or any recent uh, FreeBSD or Linux, it's gonna look you're going to find good anti-alias fonts on there. You may have to turn that on. Well, actually, we'll I think be on we by have default? an 800 by 600. That's part of We're scaling it badly. Okay, yeah. so this is not nobody's fault here. This, they, they all look good. We're going to come back. You're going to show us a nice feature, some nice features. Sure am. We're going to take a look <laughs> at the port system, which is something that's unique to BSD and really is very cool about BSD. BSD's gone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and they have the cute mascots. We'll see who comes out on top at the end of the show as we continue for the shootout. I have to say, the penguin mascot's great, but there's nobody well, in a penguin, penguin suit here. Don yeah. forgot the penguin. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Over to you, Patrick. You're betraying your friend. You want to wear the suit? I want to see Debota in the lane. The I think Debota should be the penguin. Yeah, if I come in there, I'm coming in the front door that way and leaving that way. You won't even know. <laughs> I like that thought. Let's first. Now, the shootout continues. FreeBSD and Linux. FreeBSD install a little faster, but I got to say it was pretty close to a tie in the installation. Both of them did a great job. If you can handle a text-based interface, might be a little bit of a speed here, but if you want the ease of installation, and that's one thing Linux has gotten better and better at, it makes it easier for newbies. They might have the lead there. But now we're going to let our free BS team, the D team of Matt and, uh, and Murray, do, do their thing on the desktop. What do you got going on here? Well, I've Matt? got uh, one of my own personal DVDs ripped to Divix here. Okay, so you can play, play, that's a, play a movie. Ventura game, which You've is got a, the a popular aim. instant yep. messenger with yep. multiple it's uh, clients. It's aim compatible. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing my web browsing. This is a 2.4 gigahertz P4 you're yeah, running on. that's right. I love open office. That's what you're running here. And I this think? is uh, GNU Merrick and... Oh, it's Abby not Word. Open Office. It's no, Merrick. this is not and, and much faster than Open Office. You like Abbey Word? Yeah, I, I like it. Is Abbey it pretty Word. stable these days? It works the last very time well. I used it, it was a little less stable. It's improved a lot in the last yeah. six months. It's, it's, a right. it's a little crashy. That's the word that <laughs> we. But now, what this is great is I think people think of FreeBSD as a network operating system more. But here you're running a desktop and doing a lot of things simultaneously. What are you compiling in the background there? What's that's, going on? That's there? actually just MPlayer. We're going to start a, a compilation here. Which uh, is, yeah, let's talk about the ports thing because yeah. that's what really makes BSD unusual. Sure. What it, and and you got a minute to show me what is ports? Well, ports is our uh, infrastructure for building third-party applications from source. It allows you to it's a make file infrastructure, so it allows you with one command to download the source code for an application, check some it, uh, download any patches that may be required, and also to compile it, build it, and install it. Just for the automates specific, the whole thing exactly using apt-get or deselect and 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 equivalent. And yes, really amazing uh, in the sense that uh, it. it all the things people struggle with, both Linux and BSD, is finding all the dependencies, compiling sure. it, Handles configuring it. it. For you. This does it all for you. Yeah. And how many ports uh, programs are there? We've available? got over 9,500 of them right now. So pretty much all the major applications are available in ports And lots form. of the ones you've never even heard of. Yeah, that really sure. makes it easy. All right, let's move over to Linux, because poor Don Marty hasn't really had a much chance to show off what Linux can do. Of course, we're all more familiar with Linux than BSD. That's great. Why Linux? 
Linux has uh, the advantage you can get it at whatever level you like. You can yeah. get yeah. a little box like this. This is Azorus. Running PDA. Linux. Runs Linux. Motorola just announced it's not going to use Symbian anymore. It's right. going to be Linux in all its phones now. You know? Here's another embedded Linux box. This oh, really? is from a company called Cyclades. Uh -huh. You put one of these in your server room and you can manage all your servers remotely. That's awesome. Turn your power on and off So remotely. that's an example of embedded Linux running it in a hardware situation. Of course, we're running it on the desktop here. Sure. Is Linux now competitive on the desktop, you think, with Windows? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't run Windows on the desktop <laughs> since 1996. They're, they're playing catch-up. <laughs> it's getting on. better. It's getting better, I, I agree. think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. One day Windows might catch up. Maybe Windows will get out catch up. What what would you say is a unique about Linux compared to BSD? Something Linux can do that BSD can't do. Well, there's a lot that both can do. This is just an example of a service that comes with one of the popular Linux distributions. This is kind of the comparative to ports here. This is how Red Hat makes it easy to install software, right? This is Red Hat's tool for letting you know right on the desktop, right on the desktop, if your current uh, software is up to date. Right. It'll put a it'll put an exclamation mark if it's not, and then you can download it, and it'll be green, and everything's going great. That's, That's a right. nice feature, I have to say. That's right. Most of the security problems you read about are things that were published and people knew about that right. way in advance and if you just keep up to date with the package manager that your own distribution supplies then you're going to be uh, able to avoid almost every security something problem something to there. be said for both operating systems besides the fact that they're free they're secure and that's there's a lot to be said nowadays with looking at what's going on with windows chris Bono, you have the uh, en enviable position of picking a winner free bsd or linux I'm going to completely wimp out. They're both great. They're both great. Yeah. Either one of them. Well, I have okay. to say, now here we've seen... <laughs> they don't like it. You're in trouble. I'm, You're in I'm trouble. okay with that. <laughs> He's well, okay I mean, with I, it. I wouldn't use them both uh, for the same things, though. Desktop I mean, for Linux? Well, networking I, for BSD? I have to say, I, I would favor the desktop for Linux. That said, you guys have really impressed me with what you've done here. Look at that uh, desktop. Because, you know, I have been sort of in the old mindset of BSD kind of... Yeah. It does text, right? Uh, you know, and uh, but you've you've impressed me. One of the things I really really like about BSD though is the ports. Sure. And, and as a system manager, that really is terrific. Murray Stokely, <laughs> Matt Olander, Free BSD, Beastie, we appreciate it. Don Marty from the Linux Journal, Chris Tabona. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for this edition of Screensavers. Patrick Martin, I'm Leo Laporte. Thanks for joining us, and we'll have a great day and a great evening. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Good job, you guys did great!